It's day two of the competition and Caroline's turn to cook. She's planning an evening about cuisine and all things French, which I'm hoping explains the outfit. I'd like to raise the bar tonight. I do sincerely hope that my um, guests will um, raise their own personal bar and behave in a manner that's appropriate to the setting. Uh, sorry. Good luck with that. Back with our host who's had a text. Cheeky chappy Dave's fallen ill, so he's had to pull out of the competition. That's quite disappointing. I'm going to be a wedge between two sort of rowing rhinos. Fear not, old bean. Meet this jolly good chap. It's Dave's replacement, graduate Charles Mason. People do think I'm a bit posh, but I do have substance behind what I'm saying, and I'm by no means a champagne socialist. I'm a kooky character that has very strong opinions and doesn't really care what people think of my opinions. But nine times out of ten, I, I'm always right. Yeah, me too. Back in the kitchen, Caroline's kicking off her menu with a classic French onion soup and caviar du jardin. Caviar is obviously fish, eggs, from the garden. Don't know what fish you get in a garden. <laughs> Goldfish eggs. <laughs> what are you carping on about? <laughs> garden caviar? Is that... They're growing it in their garden? No, Charles, but they do crawl around there. Snails, anyone? That's going to feel like a mouthful of snot. How lovely. On with the soup. And may I ask why you have a spoon in your mouth? I've got a spoon in my mouth because I'm trying really hard not to cry. And then the spoon really helps. Right. No, I'm sorry, I haven't got a clue what you just said, but I'm sure it was terrifically interesting. Onions chopped, they're fried with sugar and flour. In goes white wine and that's the soup done. <laughs> On to dessert. Mousse au chocolat avec un soupçon de cognac. It's just chocolate mousse with some booze. <laughs> well, it screams pretension, doesn't it? That's easy. Anybody could do that. Caroline starts by breaking up chocolate, and only the best will do. This is a 90% um, chocolate, so it'd be lovely, have a really rich flavour. Once melted and cooled, she adds egg yolks. Ooh, that's looking really good. And a splash of cognac. Et voilà. Egg whites are folded in and the mix is poured into posh glasses and left to set. Last to prep is the main. Beef bourguignon avec pomme purée et les haricots verts. It's beef stew with potato and green beans. Well spotted. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? That's just like a glorified roast dinner. It's not a complicated dish to do. It's literally just chuck it all in a pot. Caroline rolls braising steak in flour and chucks it in the slow cooker, along with lardons, veg, herbs, wine and stock. Voila, I'm just going to um, leave that to cook for the next eight hours. Blimey, that was easy. Next, she knocks up a veggie ratatouille for Charles. Mm -hmm. Then swanks up her mash. As you can see, some of them are um, really quite cute. Others resemble a caca, as they like to say in French. But, you know, c'est la vie. Prep done, it's time to slip into something a little less flammable. Santé, une soirée formidable. Oh, 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 indeed. First to the door is Tom. Hello. Good evening, Tom. How are you? You OK? Lovely to see you, Tom. Mwah. Mwah. It's going to be an evening of fine dining, correct table etiquette, and uh, if you can refrain from the belching, that would be wonderful. We'll see. Next in, it's Andrea. Bonsoir. Bonjour, Katha. Katha, it's Caroline. I've got some sad news, guys. I've received a message from Dave. Due to unforeseen medical circumstances, I'm now unable to continue with the contest. Oh, oh such a what shame. a shame! It's a shame, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Last to arrive is Dave's replacement, new boy Charles. Bonsoir. Hello. How are you? Hello. How lovely to meet you. I'm Caroline. Oh, Caroline, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Charles. Hello. Hiya. I'm Andrea. Andrea, lovely to meet you. What's your name? Um, I'm Charles. Oh, hello, Charles. Yeah. Hi, Charles. I'm Tom. Are you quite posh? No, I'm not posh. I'm all right. Well, no, I'm from a nice area, so I think that they all sound like this, so it's okay. Do you think you're posher than them? Gosh, I, I mean, gosh, know, I wouldn't know at what <laughs> point I'd make, I'd make that comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Doodle pip. I think it's super to have a posh ally. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying having some of the attention deflected from my own uh, poshness. Spiffing. 